hypothesis is of three types one called the null hypothesis second called the direction alternate hypothesis Null says there is no relation between the two x is equal to y. Alternate says x may be greater than y, x may be less than y. And directional from the previous study, from the review, it says x is greater than y. And this was told by Ahmed 2010, Jain 2012. So, you must write who said it. So, that is the direction. We write this one only for the statistical parts. We write null hypothesis only for the statistical part, otherwise review of literature and null hypothesis are mutually conflicting. So, the question comes where exactly we use null hypothesis and what is the why, why we use it at all. So, alternate is simply which when it is not null, it is alternate and alternate may present various scenario out of one which we find is most prominent, which is given by the maximum studies is called as directional directional means specifying a direction saying x is not related with y is null saying x has positive impact on y it means as x is increases y increases in the positive direction that's called a directional specifying a direction we won't simply say the two are related no we must tell which is dependent which is independent you remember r between x and y is same that i y and x relation between x and y is same that of y and x but b y x is not equal to b x y two regression coefficient do you remember there were the two lines regression line of y on x and x on y yes, sir. so that means the moment you talk about regression we talk about the dependent independent variable so simply saying there is no relation Okay, there may be relation, this may be dependent, n number of possibilities are there. So, alternate, we are not much concerned, these are only for the books. So, the you may ask that why we are taught so many things? You what whatever you are taught constitutes merely 10 to 15 percent of the real life scenario. It does not constitute more than that. For example, all the time we teach metric metric simple regression. So, I think you are given the exposure of y is a plus b x and some something like this. We remember that maybe any times in PG you might have gone through that. There are two normal equations and then you find out the value of A and B and you write equation like this. It is called simple linear regression. It is a simple linear regression, but can you really tell me any two variables which observe a linear relationship? Anything? So, as income increases consumption always increases? After one level, if your income is 5 lakhs, you eat 4 chapati, 10 lakhs, you will eat 8 chapati, 20 lakhs, you will eat 16 chapati. Linear? No, not that. Sorry? Really? If age and height are linear, then son is small, father is tall, grandfather is tallest, and his father is tallest. As age increases, height increases. Is it like that? one particular na that is what I am saying can you tell me any variables from the producer point of view price and supply price and supply yes. so the as producer producer as supply increases price increases hmm. or decreases price, price, as price increases supply increases as price increases supply increases Demand. well see uh, actually, price demand supply are too complicated. <laughs> they, rather, I should ask you one more question. Can you give me any one independent variable which does not depend on anything else? Just one. Tell me one thing which does not depend on anything else. Can you give me any one independent variable that this does not depend on anything else? Age. Age, correct. Or? Time. Well, age or time both are the same thing and uh, both are dependent on how much uh, rotations or revolutions around the sun you have taken, right. But time is certainly one. Time is nothing but uh, the relation of earth and sun, that is called time. 
we call it a day, it is a night, yes one, anything else you will not find. I am not saying they are not there, there may be, but it is really hard to imagine a variable which is purely independent, which does, does not depend. So, you take something, it depends on something else, you take something which depends on something else. So, in real life, when we say sales depends on advertisement, well, reverse is also true. Advertisement may in fact depend on the sales also, right. So, <laughs> they both are the one and the same. That is we talk about the multicollinearity. I have seen that salary depends on age. In general, I have seen the people with the higher age got higher salary. Do you agree? No, I am not saying always. I have seen generally I have seen people with high and I have seen people with more experience got more salary. Now, by the way, experience comes from sky or somebody? Experience depends on age, not only a little bit, 100 <laughs> percent. Is it possible for a person of 20 years having 22 years experience? <laughs> not possible, 100 percent it depends on age. So, there we talk about the multicollinearity and so other things etcetera. So, really these things are so fascinating and if you know Excel, I will really take you from those streets of uh, you know stats which you will never go through. You know uh, the problem with the SPSS or the softwares or any package is you make a click it will give you n number of things, n number of things. Every single thing is saying a lot of things. In the morning she said please teach us interpretation. The first thing cannot be taught in 4 hours, right. Whatever I have learnt in 15 years despite my best efforts, I am trying very hard from the morning and I am very fast, but there is a you know your uh, absorption rate. After what some time what will happen? I will go on speaking and nothing is going to your mind. You are just you know coming to hearing, right. So, one thing is you should not feel very offended that you know he is not talked about SPSS. SPSS is not important. Main thing is which one to apply where and step by step we are coming to that. So, two more things I will discuss today. I got 1 hour 15 minutes. I hope uh, you are with me, not yes. hit wicket or clean ball in between with me. Okay. We will talk about the two things, we will try to settle down with the Likert, what exactly Likert said, what his point was and we will try to see why when metric metric why regression means why not hypothesis testing or when Andy Field says everything is regression, why at all we require hypothesis testing. These two points we will discuss and uh, there we got a friend with us, you have you seen the movie Harry Potter? Not all, okay. Do you know who was Dumbledore? Yes. Sir. Who was he? Headmaster. Headmaster. And uh, what sort of feelings he had for Harry, Harry Potter? Positive or negative? Positive. Positive feelings were there. So we we have a statistical Dumbledore with us.